Hi guys, uh, today I'll be talking about the concept of timekeeping on ships. All right, uh, so basically I'll be focusing on the concept of zone time, but because we use uh, different kind of uh, abbreviations of time in uh, navigation or celestial navigation, I thought I'll just focus uh, on this video about the different types of time and what is the difference between it and for practicality what kind of time we keep on ships right so although my focus is on zone time i will also be talking about longitude in time uh, local mean time or uh, ships mean time and what is the difference between these times right so if if, if i could start from longitude in time uh, that is also called lit how do you get longitude in time you basically divide longitude by 15 now this basically means that if uh, the earth or for all practicality we maintained uh, uh, longitude in time uh, for every longitude uh, a place or city would keep a different time so time would differ as with the longitude uh, it could differ in minutes or seconds but it would differ for every longitude and that was not a practical approach to timekeeping all right so we would have a reference point for longitude of zero 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 degrees but then for every change in longitude we would have a different time and that was not practical all right uh, so that's why longitude mean time is only used as a correction applied to the local mean time to get your gmt all right now what is local mean time local mean time is based on a fictitious body called the mean sun which takes exactly 24 hours to revolve around the earth now we all know that uh, the sun doesn't take exactly 24 hours we only say that uh, to round off a number such as 23 hours 59 minutes and some seconds and that changes every now and then all right so we cannot assume that the sun takes exactly 24 hours to revolve around the earth uh, and that's why local mean time is used in nautical almanac uh, for giving a sunset time sunrise time and meridian passage time because it is practical to calculate it but it cannot be actually followed in real life because uh, the, because the sun doesn't take exactly 24 hours right and then we come to something called the ship's time or the zone time all right now ship's mean time or the zone time uh, is uh, the actual time that we keep on the ships for all practicality right and this is what happens uh, normally in uh, the, the the surface of the earth uh, how that's how the surface of the earth is divided all right because it was not practical to would have kept uh, different times based on the longitude so how it all works is that we still have a reference longitude of zero 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 degrees uh, which is uh, also called prime meridian uh, prime meridian and it's called uh, zero 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 degrees and that's a reference point or reference longitude um, now on either side of the prime meridian up to seven and a half degrees east and seven and a half degrees west that's called zone zero so basically all the countries such as england and you know uh, other countries that fall within this zone are in zone zero and they keep the same time as gmt time all right that's the reference time uh, now as you start going east from seven and a half degrees east as you start going east you add one hour for every 15 degrees of longitude such as some seven and a half to 22 and a half degrees longitude of east you add one hour to the gmt time then you add two hours to the GMT time as you go from 22 and a half to 37 and a half, three hours, four hours, so on and so forth. But the interval between the longitudes are 15 degrees. Similarly, if you go west from seven and a half degrees west, for every 15 degrees of longitude, you will reduce one hour from the GMT time. Then two hours from GMT, three hours from GMT. And that's why as you go east, which is on your right side, as you go east, you will add hours and as you go west you subtract hours from the gmt and that's why these zones are called plus one east zone or plus two east zone or plus three east zone or minus one west zone minus two west zone uh, because of the time difference between the countries in that zone and the gmt all right of course there are some countries like india which take the reference longitude of 82 and half degrees east and then they keep a time of five and a half degrees they are five and a half hours ahead of gmt but those countries are very rare most of the countries they keep a round number uh, from the GMT there are bigger countries like America and Australia they are really big countries and what they have is something like daylight saving where the the east and the west uh, side of the same country keep different times sometimes uh, in different seasons so for especially in Australia uh, from the months of uh, October to March uh, we are five and a half hours ahead of uh, sorry 11 hours ahead of gmt but from march to october they are we are um, 10 hours ahead of gmt 
Or I hope I got that right. But basically, what I mean to say is that big countries like America and Australia they keep different time zones on the west and the east coast because they are very big and they can't have one reference longitude for timekeeping. But uh, most of the other countries they keep uh, they use one reference longitude and which falls within this zone, and they use that as a zone time. And that's the zone time on the ship's mean time. Then we also have the concept of international date line. Right now, what is the international date line? So for that, you have to see that uh, if you keep going east. Uh, from GMT or if you keep going west from GMT you will earth is round right earth is a circle you will go on the other side and if you go on to the other side and you face the meridian opposite to 000 degrees you have the meridian of 180 degrees and this meridian of 180 degrees if you face it it's of course it's also called anti meridian and if you face this meridian uh, on the other side of the earth you will realize the east now comes on the on your left side this becomes east right and this becomes west Whereas in the diagram above, you could see the east was on my right side. But as I kept going east, and because Earth is a circle, I kept going. And if I kept going west uh, from GMT, if I go to the other side of the Earth, and if I face that particular longitude, east would come on my left side, and west would come on my right side. All right. And the concept and the concept of one is zero degrees is called the anti meridian. Now, uh, international date line comes uh, is drawn uh, very close to the anti meridian. And you can see it's not a straight line although we assume 180 degrees to be a straight line international date line for all practicality uh, it's not an absolutely straight line because it tends to uh, include certain countries within that zone for example you know there are countries like uh, islands like kiribati and uh, that come within here and samoa that comes on the other side then of course you have tonga here and fiji here so you know i mean they include some kind of countries and all that so what is the concept of international date line and i'll go back to the above drawing here uh, and start assuming that if you were, uh, you know, a country that was located in, a, in the east side, let's take that example, right? So if, if you were located here and you were a stationary observer and then I take my ship and I go around the earth and I go eastward, as I start going eastward for every 15 degree longitude, I'll keep adding hours to it. So as I keep adding hours and if I circumvent the globe and I go around the earth and come back to you who is a stationary observer, I would have kept adding hours. So by the time I would reach you, I would have added 24 hours and I would be a date ahead of you, isn't it? And the opposite thing would happen on the west side. So if you were a stationary observer on the west side and I kept going west and I kept retarding hours, uh, by the time I reach you again and I circumvent the globe, I would be 24 hours behind you, uh, but although I'm in the same place. So to compensate for that, you have some concept of international date line. So as you start going from east, and you go into the you cross over the international date line if you go east and you cross over the international date line you kind of uh, go back one day all right so especially if you're traveling from say america australia to america you would go back one day uh, but if you are traveling from say america to australia and you come westward you advance one day all right you advance one day and that is for you to compensate for all those hours that you have been either adding when you were going eastwards or subtracting when you were going westwards so these are the different concepts and time that i thought i should explain because sometimes students do get confused um, as to um, you know what are these different kinds of time and why uh, do we have so many different kinds of time and then what is it that we do practically on board on the ship so i'll just take one example quickly to show you so you know from the almanac if you get the lmt time uh, for example lmt was 0700 you know and then uh, you need to find the zone time for a vessel or a, or a vessel which is in longitude of uh, longitude is 50 degrees west all right so what would be your lit west your lit west would be 50 divided by 50 divided by 15 which is 3 hours 20 minutes all right so your 3 hours 20 minutes now i have already told you local mean time uh, is the time at a particular uh, it's based on the median so of course local mean time is very similar to what you would have longitude in time uh, so uh, based on the longitude now if you were locally located uh, in west longitude gmt would be ahead of you right if you were in west longitude gmt would be ahead of you then you just saw that as you start going westward you start uh, uh, retarding one hour and two hour and three hours so gmt would be ahead of you so whenever you see west longitude you always uh, add your local mean time and what you get is 10 20 here right but you need to get the zone time and that's why you have to find out the zone now your zone is based on your uh, based on your longitude in time based on lit right now in this case your lit uh, was three hours and 20 minutes right 
because it's less than 3 hours and 30 minutes if it was more than 30 minutes you would go off to the other hour but because it's less than 30 minutes 3 hours of 20 minutes of LIT becomes a zone of 3 hours and because it's west longitude it becomes minus 3 so if you apply a zone of 0, 3, 0, 0 hours your zone time or ZT it becomes 720 so that's how it's it's all done yeah, numerically as well all right so longitude in time becomes kind of correction so um, uh, i hope i have explained uh, these concepts clearly i have not made a very long video on these uh, uh, try to keep it as simple as possible but if you have any questions uh, shoot me an email or sorry shoot me a message on these youtube videos all right thanks guys